What's up, Divine Collective? It's your girl, the Flight Empress, and I'm back to give you guys the energy update for the 21st of October. Um, this reading won't resonate with everyone, so only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind, okay? So, family, I'm picking up, like, inner conflict. I feel like for some of you, you are going through some type of inner conflict right now. You could be um, battling self-esteem issues. Um, for some of you guys, you feel like you have failed, okay? Or you're not where you're supposed to be or where you want to be. Maybe you had dreams that they didn't come through for you. Or there was opportunities that you wish you had took, but you haven't taken them yet. Or there could have been obstacles that was holding you back from your dreams and your goals. For some of you guys, you could have had children. You could have wanted to go to school. But um, it could have been some type of issue or there's somewhere you're wanting to be in your life right now. And I feel like you're not quite there or you feel like there's no opportunity that's going to be coming in for you. There is a need for you to change your mindset because for a lot of us family, we are given a clean slate at this time. Spirit is wanting for you not to give up on some type of goal or dream here. Um, don't consider yourself as a failure just because something didn't happen for you the first time or the second time. There's a need for you right now to really plan out your life or plan out certain things that you're wanting to do and take action. Okay, have courage. Take action at this time. Even if you can't really move right now, there's a need for you to start planning things out or getting prepared because there's a major opportunity that could be coming in for a lot of you guys. And I do feel like this is regarding the Divine Collective, okay? Yeah, you could be having intrusive thoughts right now as well. Spirit is wanting for you to be cautious regarding your thoughts or like old feelings coming up. Um, I really do feel like for a lot of you, I'm picking up like sadness, okay? There's some type of sadness around the collective right now because you know, you know what you're capable of. You know that if you put your mind to something, you can achieve it, but it feels like the world is against you or you got the world on your shoulders right now. You could be taking care of a lot of people or just trying to take care of things around your home or with your family, or you got a lot of responsibilities at this time, the spirit is calling for you to put yourself first, okay? You're needing to work on putting yourself first right now. Um, there could be some type of confusion or illusion that's going on. That's what spirit is saying. For some of you guys, you're creating illusions around certain failures that you feel like you can't bounce back from, or like, certain things that you didn't take action in but i really do feel like there's some type of clarity of vision that's about to come in for you so like maybe you feel like um just say for instance you do want to go back to school maybe you feel like you want to be approved for a pell grant or for a student loan or maybe you feel like well i gotta work for a time i gotta take care of these kids i gotta take care of bills i got too much to do i don't have time to go back to school but spirit is saying that there's a major opportunity that's going to come in for you where roads are going to be open. Roads that was once closed, it's going to be open. I'm here and making a way out of no way. So I really do feel like family, even if you feel like you got everything on your shoulders right now, if you start planning and preparing at this time, I feel like when the time comes, you will have everything that you need in order to succeed in this new abundant lifestyle that spirit is trying to give you, okay? A lot of you, um, like I said, you could be, you could feel like some of the reasons why you have been going through obstacles when it comes to your dreams, maybe, you know, you could have came from a background where you didn't have enough, or, you know, I'm not gonna say poverty, <clears throat> But it's like you had to pull your own weight or you didn't have like support or maybe your family didn't have it to give. Spirit is saying that you are a curse breaker, okay? Spirit is wanting for you to break certain curses right now on your bloodline that you feel like you cannot break, 
okay? Because I'm picking up like 2024, there's a major event or an opportunity or a chance for you to exceed in your life. But you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe that this opportunity is yours and whatever is yours will never pass you by, all right? Some of you guys, um, yeah, you could also feel like, you know, I'm in my 30s, I'm not married, or I'm in my 40s or 50s, whatever. You could feel like, would I ever have that family or will I ever get that new home that I've always dreamt about? I really do feel like if you want this, you can call this in, you can manifest this but you're needing to rewire your consciousness at this time. Because for some of you guys, you have programmed yourself to believe that you can't have this or you can't achieve this because of certain circumstances in your life, okay? Let's see, y'all. Hmm. Spirit, what's going on here? Show me what I need to see for the collective. What do they need to know? Truth and clarity. Yeah. I'm hearing you got it. Like you got what it takes. Or like spirit is going to handle whatever is blocking you at this time. But it, it's going to take for you to believe it yourself and take some type of action. Even your ancestors and your spirit guys are trying to tell you something. Okay, and I've been picking up the ancestors are back right now, very heavy. Oh, 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 ancestors are coming in to check on you or to deliver messages. They're also guiding you as well. They're wanting for you to succeed, okay, and break those curses that they wasn't able to break. Something about them giving you strength, okay. Spirit, what else? Okay, we got off the grid country life. So for some of you guys, there could be a need for you to like pull back from like shopping too much or eating out too much, going to a lot of restaurants or, um, you know, hanging out, socializing. There's a need for you to really pull back your energy at this time and get very grounded and focused. Okay. You need to get grounded and focused. Something about a lot of noise or distractions you're needing to eliminate you're needed to eliminate yourself from certain distractions here this could be tv your phone social media okay or like people who's just wanting to pull on your energy all the time spirit wants you to take time out for yourself and heal your own life okay and he's giving you the equipment and the support that you need okay to create a new beginning in your life yeah this is your chapter and I'm hearing you're the narrator. If you're wanting to change something, pick up that pen and paper and change it. Like I said, for some of you guys, you're needing to write certain things down, okay? Uh, what you gonna do? How much money you need to save up? Um, if, you, if you got children, this could be like you preparing yourself to have a babysitter so when you do go to school, you don't have to worry about who's gonna pick your kids up from school or like um, if you do have a job, you could be preparing in like six months. Okay, I'm going to go PRN, but I need to put this much money back to make sure I'm straight. You know, so I really do feel like family, this is giving me like a fairy tale lifestyle, something that you always wanted. And for some of you guys, this is a home because we got a castle here in the background. Yeah, I'm hearing for some of you guys, you're going to be building a home from the ground up. Yeah, something about a blueprint or um, some type of contractor. I'm here a general contractor or something like that. You could end up hiring your own contractor. This is going to save you a lot of money. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing as well. But for some of you, it's like Spirit is about to give you the money that you need in order to do this, in order to create the life that you were supposed to have here on earth. We got loyalty and marriage. I feel like the right people are going to be coming along or helping you out in some type of way. But some of you guys, marriage is heavy on your mind or like you feel like you've been feeling like, you know, what's wrong with me? I know I'm a good person. I know that I'm attractive. But for a lot of you guys, I do feel like 
You don't put up standards in your life. You're waiting for the right person to come along. But I'm seeing here that spirit is saying, let me work on you first. The right person is going to come along. Don't worry. Don't try to place a timeline on when you're going to meet your person because they are coming in towards you. Continue to work on you. Okay, stay focused. I'm here and keep your eyes on me. So something about God wanting you to keep your eyes on him. You have a lot to fulfill or a lot of purpose. Yeah, something about you on your purpose, on your path. And you are being God. If somebody is going to meet you along the way to help you. I'm also getting like once you achieve something, that's when this person is going to be allowed to come into your life. For some of you guys, you could have got marriage and this failed or an end in divorce. But I am picking up like no more drama because this card came out in the reverse. You're not wanting no drama in your life right now. You're, you're Right now you're being strong or you're trying to be strong for yourself, for your children. Um, I'm seeing that there is going to be somebody who's going to come along that's going to treat you the way you you're supposed to be treated. Whether you're a king or a queen. Spirit is something about a royal marriage. I'm here on royal marriage. This is giving me equally yoked. I'm hearing visitors or visits. For some of you guys, you are going to have a lot of suitors. But I'm hearing like the right one. You're going to be able to tell who's meant for you or whose spirit sent to you. Because something in your past was too much drama or it wasn't sent by spirit. You could have married a person here, but it wasn't heaven sent okay yeah i'm hearing naive you could have been naive in the past or somebody treated you like um you was a child or yeah i'm picking up some of you guys you could have been in an abusive relationship or abusive marriage but all of this is about to change i'm hearing mary j blind okay no more drama in your life Somebody is going to be coming into your life and it's not going to be how it used to be or the people you used to date or um, somebody you could have been married to. Yeah, it's totally different, but it's because you done changed your energy. You done raised your vibration. You done purged and released and healed. Okay. Spirit, what else? Yeah, we got a stake in a in the garden. <laughs> and she's literally in a garden. Okay, beware. So there could be situation that, situations that try to stop you or hold you back. For some of you guys, it's like while you are on your spiritual journey at this time, while you're focusing on healing yourself, your life, your family, your lineage, there is gonna be certain obstacles here, but I feel like you're gonna be able to see it. You're going to be able to see it or see certain people for who they really are. Yeah, pay attention to their energy. If somebody comes towards you, they're very impulsive or want you to do something really quick or they say something to you and it's hurtful, but they try to blow it off to make it seem like that's not what they meant. Um, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm also picking up, like, um, pay attention to your spirit when it comes to certain people. For some of you guys, you have been bitten or you done been hurt by someone. This could have caused um, some self-esteem issues with you as well. There's a need for you to release this and not believe in these false narratives or what you went through, okay? Um, there was somebody that was connected to your energy that was very hurt or this person um, could have grew up in this type of environment where they took on certain behaviors and habits and they projected their anger and their frustration on you. And for some of you guys, I'm picking up your a very sensitive soul. You got a very big heart. Um, this could have affected you in some type of way. There is a need for you to be very cautious at this time about your thoughts or the past coming up. Okay, you need to know who you are and don't let nobody else tell you who you are or don't believe people who you know intentionally is trying to come in to hurt you or people who did this to you in the past. 
okay? Stay focused. Yeah. This is kind of giving me like Eve in a snake, <laughs> okay? There could be somebody who's trying to come in and tempt you or um, get you to take your eyes off God. Yeah, deter you. I'm hearing keeping you unfocused. I feel like, family, you're not going to be paying attention to this or you're not going to let this cause you any more setbacks, okay? It's like the devil whispering in your ear. You can't do it. You're not going to be able to pick all them tomatoes by this evening, you know, or you're not going to be able to go back to school. You're not going to be able to buy that house. You're not going to be able to um, accomplish your dreams or start that business, yeah, don't listen to the devil. Don't let the devil in your head, family. Okay? Yeah. I'm hearing washed away. Something is about to be washed away in your life or is washing away. For some of you guys, you could be doing laundry at this time or needing to do laundry. I'm hearing separate fold clothes. <laughs> Uh, we got progress, healthy work environment. I'm telling you, you don't been through a lot. You don't been through things that most people could not deal with. Or most people um, would just give up or walk away or just say, you know what? This is my life. I succumb to my issues or, you know, whatever. I'm just tired. You're not that type of person. And that's why spirit has been working on you so hard. That's why spirit is leading you as well. A lot of you guys only... it. Only a chosen one or somebody who have a very strong spirit um, can succeed in their life the way you guys are succeeding in your life. I feel like you have made a lot of accomplishments, but you're not seeing all the things that you have done. You're looking at the things that you haven't done or the things that you haven't accomplished. And Spirit is saying you done came a long way. And for a lot of you guys, you are about to be blessed. I am seeing like, but some of you, like I said, something about co-workers or students going back to school, learning, higher education, a new intellect or perspective on your life. For some of you guys, like I said, you're about to make a lot of progress. We got progress here. You're about to make a lot of progress. And for some of you guys, you want to end up meeting somebody that you're meant to spend your life with while you're on this progress or while you're um, working on something or taking action here. This is somebody who's um, doing the same thing or somebody who's definitely gonna come in and help you out. Yeah, I'm hearing giver, not a taker. Yeah. For some of you guys, there's a friend that's gonna introduce you to someone that's gonna end up being your life partner. You might not have met this person yet. I feel like you might end up meeting this person. And say, for instance, y'all hanging out and all of a sudden they're like, let me introduce you to my brother or my cousin or one of my friends or, you know, this could be a group of friends. You could end up like going out or celebrating with this person. Something about you being introduced to someone here as well. I'm picking up heavy school. For some of you guys, you are going back to school or you are in school, okay? You could be changing your major. Yeah. You could feel like something in the past failed or it was causing too much confusion in your life. But you, something about you changing, okay? Or making things right or putting in the work here. Because it's like God can't help you unless you take the action. You have to take the action in order for God to assist you. I'm picking up a lot of assistance here. Because something in your life was causing a lot of confusion. <sighs> yeah, and like I said, look at this. Family, I'm telling you, Spirit is saying you're needing to eliminate distractions. Now, look at this. Now, this woman is sitting at the computer. It looks like she's learning. She's engaging. Um, she's meeting new people. She's enjoying herself, her work, whatever she's doing here. But then we got a computer here as well. And this is somebody who's getting distracted. So, like I said, don't get distracted. And don't let people tell you what you can't do. Okay? I'm hearing get rid of the naysayers. 
for some of you guys, you got people that's doubting you or they're not wanting to see you succeed past them. Okay. For some of you guys, it's your own family. Yeah, it's crazy. What else, spirit? What do the collective need to know? Yeah, be quiet. Okay, yeah, silent treatment. Um, yeah, I'm hearing um, there are certain things you're not needing to talk about. Okay, you have a clear vision about your life or what you need to do, what action you need to take. If spirit is wanting for you to keep a lid on it or don't tell nobody about it, okay? Because I feel like th there's people around you that's wanting to cause drama or problems. Or like, they don't want you to believe in yourself. For some of you guys, you've been going through a lot of drama or problems in your life. You're about to get rid of this baby, okay? You're not... You're not finna sit up here and brag about what you finna do. You're gonna take action and really do it. Yeah, I'm here and don't talk about it, be about it. Yeah, take action. The proof is in the pudding. So it's no need to like flounce around and tell people, hey, you know, I finna do this or I finna do that or I finna get this. Or girl, you know, I went to such and such, they gave me a loan. No, spirit is saying zip it, okay? Be quiet, okay? Yeah, because this is not going to do nothing, especially if people are spearing out hate or anger or negative energy. This is not going to do nothing but dampen your vision. So don't allow people to do this to you, okay? But you don't need to do this to yourself. And that's why spirit is telling you to be quiet. Something about you know you need to be quiet, okay? And just take action with courage being here. Spirit, what else? Oh, child. Look, we got trust friends. This is coming over here by a snake in the garden as well. We got captivity coming in in the reverse. We got the end in the reverse. <laughs> so, yeah. Some of you guys, this is like certain people that you would tell certain things to or um, confine in them about or like you feel like if you get good news that they will be happy for you. And Spirit is saying, baby, not everybody that you call friend is your friend. Okay? They not. Yeah. Everybody that you call friend is not your friend. You need to be cautious about somebody in your life or somebody who want to come towards you or talk to you or like they want to rush and get back to you. Like this could be somebody like, hey, how you doing? Um, I still got some of your stuff. I want to know when I can give it to you. Can I meet you this weekend? Well, I don't want to send it by such and such. Um, can you meet me? And I also want to tell you the truth about such and such, such and such. Like th that's a red flag, okay? Um, if you do have to meet up with somebody that you haven't met in a long time, this could also be somebody you deal with now, okay? Just be careful what you say um, and don't tell your whole business, okay? Keep it cute and quiet. Keep it cute and quiet. Yeah, somebody is definitely wanting to get some type of information out of you. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is like family. I feel like you're nodding your head no more. Are you you about to get out of your head or some type of mental prison or feeling stuck in your life? Um, like I said, baby, you're making some type of progress here or this is definitely coming up. And I feel like um, it's some people that want to know what you're doing or what you are uh, planning. What actions you're going to be taking. Something about let them in. Somebody is wanting for you to let them back into your life or like tell them your secrets. Yeah. I'm hearing fake smile. Okay. Somebody is fake happy for you or, you know, something here is fake. Y'all, this fly is killing me. I'm telling you, monitoring spirits. <laughs> 
and I do not have flies in my house. But when I say that fly just came over here, some somebody is trying to monitor you, okay? <sighs> yeah, for some of you guys, I feel like you closed a chapter with a person, but this is somebody who's wanting to open this back up or it's, they want to start over. But I feel like you're not going to fall for the bait. Okay, you're not going to fall for something. You know somebody is wearing a mask. This could be a few people. And that's why you guys are being quiet here. I'm also seeing that there's something that's not over with for you. If you're still breathing, you're still walking, you're still talking, you're still in your right mind, something here is not over for you. Okay, you can still reach your dreams and your goals. Okay, sometimes you might have to ball up the paper and start over again. For some of you guys, this is what's taking place. You are starting over with your life and you could be in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s. But as long as it's a wheel, there's a way. Okay, something about you escaping your mind or getting rid of an old mindset here. This is what's going to help you achieve. I'm here and take off. Okay, yeah. Here, what else? Tell me what I need to see for the collective. But definitely be careful with the people you talk to. Spirit, why I got all of these? <laughs> Good Lord. And look at this, y'all, before we jump into the trinkets. Okay, this woman here got red hair. This woman got red hair. This black woman got crinkle um, hair. This looked like an Asian or a Chinese lady here. It's kind of giving me the energy of like somebody that you call a friend is fake. It's like they get information from you and they go back and tell other people or another person. Okay. Y'all be careful. Pay attention to what people ask you or what they say, especially if they haven't been around you or they betrayed you in some type of way or you just know that they're fake. Pay attention to the things that they ask you. Something is going to be revealed. But I'm also picking up like the right people coming towards you as well. Yeah, somebody's wearing a disguise. That's what I'm hearing here. So y'all, first off, look at what we got. Can y'all see that leaf? Okay. Yes, baby. Something about the color red. I'm seeing red. Um, There could be a decision that you guys are going to make when the leaves start turning red. Okay. I don't know where y'all at. Well, the leaves down here is like yellow. I haven't seen any red leaves yet. But I'm hearing red. Okay. Are real dark orange I feel like there's some type of decision that you're gonna be making or some type of action you're gonna take for some of you guys you could be seeing dragonflies okay I'm hearing swarming like there could be a lot of drag dragonflies that's going in circles something about circles here or you got ancestors circling you because dragonflies also represent the ancestors they're circling you, protecting you at this time. They're also giving you subliminal and divine messages about what actions to take. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you're meant to be curse breakers on your family. Yeah, they're rooting for you. Yeah, and they are heavily guarding you at this time as well. We also got the fish. I'm hearing bait, something about bait. Yeah, um, for some of you, there's a person that's wanting to bait you in, okay? Somebody is trying to like pull you back. Be careful about that. You're gonna be able to tell who this person is. I'm also picking up like um, highly favored. You're blessed by Jesus, the most high or something about um, spiritual court hearing your prayers. 
And that's why all of these obstacles are going to be removed for you. Something is going to end up being easier than you thought it would be. Because uh, why am I hearing that song? He may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. On time, God. Yes, he is. Okay, baby. Yeah, yeah. Something is coming right on time. Okay. For some of you guys, this is a tower moment. A tower is not always bad, but this could come in as a shock or unexpectedly, um, or like all of a sudden you're going to be coming up with an idea, a clue, or you're going to be taking action here and you're going to be shocked and surprised that it worked. Yeah. And I keep hearing building from the ground up, okay? Something is about to move higher in your life. This could be your career, okay? This could be you. Something is about to change in your life that you're not going to be expecting. Yeah, I feel like this is going to help heal your heart. Or right now, you're healing your heart. You're removing those um, lies that other people told you or you told yourself. But I'm hearing cleaning out. I'm cleaning out my closet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of you guys are cleaning out certain things that's been blocking your heart chakra. And that's why there, this change is about to come in. Okay. Yeah. You could be feeling the need to forgive people and let go at this time. We also got the cats. Okay, I'm hearing nine lives. For some of you guys, there could have been multiple chances or opportunities for you and maybe you didn't take it or maybe um, things didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. But I feel like you got another opportunity that's coming up for you and you're needing to use your intuition. Cats have very strong intuition. They're able to see certain things um, that we cannot see, especially the spiritual realm. All right. Um, I'm picking up protective energy. Some of you guys could have a cat or there's a cat that's been lurking around you or around your home. Okay. I'm here under your car. Somebody going to find a cat under their car. But um, this is giving me like nine lives. You, there's an opportunity that's coming back around for you. Something had to die in order for this new opportunity to come in for you. Okay. We also got boy. We got a boy trinket. For some of you guys, this could be for my divine masculines. This is going to be happening to you. But for my feminists out there, I'm picking up like there's a person that's coming towards you. Spirit is leading you towards this person. But you're needing to take the right road. Listen to your intuition. Because right now you are being divinely guided. Like I said, this is somebody who's not going to be a taker, but a giver. This could be somebody who's going to be going in the same field as you or business or a career. For some of you guys, you could be in real estate or you could be trying to buy land. Um, I'm hearing scientists, architect, somebody that's coming towards you. It's somebody who's very special or they got a very special special place in this world a special place in spirit heart now when you meet this person they might not look like they that special i don't know why i'm hearing i'm playing basketball now this could be somebody who loves basketball okay or this is somebody when they not at work they in their street clothes but i'm really picking up like somebody who's very special very unique I'm hearing a gift, okay? This is a gift. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you don't judge a person outer um, self. You judge the heart, okay? Now, if they sag in their pants and, you know, their teeth is black <laughs> or gold or, you know what I'm saying? This person got a mouth full of gold tattoos all over their face and stuff like, hey, I'm not judging nobody, but I'm just saying. <laughs> or, you know, you got somebody coming towards you. The only thing they're concerned about is um, playing games or playing the game 
are just playing sports, you know, they're not really trying to do anything with their life. They don't really want anything. You ask them what they want to be in the next five years. Uh, this person could say, like, I want $50,000 in my bank and I want all my kids' child support paid up and, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> like, you be the judge of, you know, whoever come towards you. But I feel like the right person going to be coming towards you, family. Okay. Yeah. I'm hearing a helper. This is your helper and vice versa. Yeah. So y'all, that's what I got. I hope y'all enjoyed these messages. If you did, give me a big, big, big thumbs up. It don't hurt to like the video, all right? Subscribe, especially if y'all want more content, like, cause I'm getting tired. People don't want to like the video. I'm like, okay, should I just pull back from this? But y'all, yeah, if you can, like the video. It put my video in the algorithm on YouTube so other people can get a message, so other people can watch my videos. Um, but don't forget to subscribe, ring that notification bell. And for those of you who have been supporting me out there, y'all know I'm not talking to y'all. I love y'all so much. I thank you and I appreciate you for everything you do. Um, y'all been rocking with your girl for a long time. Some of you guys, you my A1 day ones. Y'all know I love y'all to the bottom of my heart. But some people on here, they just don't even try, okay? Um, but anyway, y'all, I love y'all, okay? Keep your head up. Peace.